We're going to record a breakdown of the first Whitaker and Israel Adesanya fight. That's going to be posted on Thursday for the guys at my bookie, my bookie sponsor in that. And Teddy, before we record that, I've got um, Whitaker for the my bookie has Whitaker plus 215, Adesanya minus 275. Who do you like? Adesanya. I mean, I think it's going to be tight. I think it's going to be much more competitive, this fight, because of uh, I, I talked about it a couple shows ago when we were pre-forecasting this a little bit. Uh, Whitaker went compromised into that first fight. I'm taking nothing away from Adesanya. He beat him. He knocked him out. Uh, I think it was in the second round. He caught him with some beautiful counter punches. Uh, Adesanya is the Best, one of the best strikers in the UFC, and he's, in this fight, he's the better striker. Whitaker's going to have to get his hands on him, if you will, and get him to the mat probably, or at least use his jab, you know, to take away the ability of Whitaker to move and, you know, pot shot and control the outside in a graceful way, the talented way uh, that Adesanya is capable of doing. But I think that the first fight, Whitaker was compromised. He had been sick. Uh, you know, I don't know all the, I don't recall all the exact details, but I know he had a pretty serious uh, ailment uh, to do with his stomach. He, he had to have surgery for it. Uh, he was inactive uh, for for a good period of time. And then the first fight after that was defending his title against Adesanya and he got knocked out uh he's got a hundred percent health this time he's not dealing with those kind of situations you know that I just talked about and not only was it not only is it fair to probably say he wasn't a hundred percent physically Ken you know for that fight being that he was coming off that ailment uh but he wasn't, there's no way he could have been 100% mentally right. Yeah. There's no way. When you're going through that, I know, the, <coughs> I know the fight business. I've been in those situations. If your fighter is compromised physically, he's compromised mentally, which is more important because he's not as sure of himself as he normally would be yep. because of what his physical ailment had been. Yeah. And that had to be the case with Whitaker, that he had to be compromised mentally going in. I think this time he's in a much better space, a much better place mentally, physically. I think it's going to be an interesting fight, much tighter fight, but I still can't go against our buddy uh, who's been on our show a couple of times and his trainer. Uh, I, I can't go against him. I think he's one of the most talented if not the most talented fighters, but definitely there's a few very talented guys that do it their own way, kind of like Bruce Lee's, you know, in the in the martial arts business. They do it their own way uh, when they get in that cage. And Adesanya is one of those special guys that his talent, his physical talent is matched by his instinctual abilities. He's got great instincts and he's got a great mind great toughness mentally, great belief as far as he's always going to find a way, he's always going to win. He's only lost that one fight where he stepped up, which was a big step up in weight. You know, he went up to light heavyweight uh, to fight, I think it was Blahovich, right? That's right, yeah, and, Blahovich. Um, and Blahov it was just too big. Uh, and, and listen, maybe you could say Adesanya fought the wrong fight because he allowed himself to get into the grips of Blahovich, who wanted him in his grip so he could take him to the mat. Yep. You know, and use his strength and use his great abilities on the mat. Um, but uh, this fight in the middleweight division in the rematch, uh, I'm I'm going I'm going with the guy who's got the belts right now, Adesanya. All right. Well, guys. Stay with us. We'll be is back. Is there an under over on that? Is there an under there over is. on that? Ken? There is. Over under four and a half rounds, minus 125 for the over, minus 105 for the under. So basically, I'm will going it go with the, the over. distance? Yeah, I think I'm going it, with the over, Ken. I think it I'm goes going the with distance the distance as well. Well, listen. I don't know if it'll go the distance, but I think it'll go long enough. Well, well, you you have two and a half minutes in the last in the last round, unless you think it's going to get stopped there. It's going it's going the distance. Um Let's go break that fight down and record a... No, uh, no, no. It only goes to distance if the bell rings and there's still both guys standing. Yeah, that's, over-under is four and a half. half. So you got the last two and a half yeah. minutes. 
But yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. I'm, but it's not guaranteed to go the distance. No. Otherwise, it wouldn't be an under over. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm with you. I'm just saying, if you're taking the over, you're pretty much betting that it's gonna go the distance because the chances. I'm of not. It, oh, you think I it would, might get stopped I, I, in the I last still, two minutes? I I think it could. I yeah. think, but I just think that gives me enough enough of a leeway, enough of a cushion um, that. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the over I, I, again for the same reasons I just explained. Yeah. I think Whitaker is gonna be better mentally and physically this fight. Uh, yeah. But Adesanya is, you know, he's a dangerous counterpuncher. Uh, but I think, see, that's the reason why I think it's gonna go over. I think that Whitaker is much more aware now than he was the first time, obviously, of how dangerous this guy is counterpunching. And how you can't give him opportunities to use that great, you know, talent. And if and you that see means in that, you can't reach. And when you, you see in reach. that first one, he went into like one of those 50 50 exchanges where they both just for a minute, let's just fire. And he got caught, and that was the end of the fight. I think Whitaker well, is going to know better real, than to do that this time. Well, yes. That's, yes, that's what I'm saying. And, and no better in one specific area, not to reach. Yeah. Well, Even let, if you get into a firestorm, do it at the right distance a little bit. Don't throw too many, you know, because you don't want to stay in the middle uh, too long with a counter punch like this. You don't want to stay in that susceptible area. But don't. The main thing, don't reach. Don't throw anything too from too far away. <laughs> 